It's almost 10.15. Mike and I are gonna crush the entire day out. Non-stop. Non-stop work. We uh, have crashed the starter space pad. So as you can see, my friends Quan and Pyle let me come and hang out here for the day. It's pretty legit. Everybody's working, working hard. Got these little private rooms which are pretty legit. And uh, Mike and I took over this awesome conference room. So, let's get to it. What's up, man? What's up, dude? How are you doing? Right, there's like five people that came to the door. I know, yeah. Somebody's knocked like every 10 minutes. <laughs> I think it's you each time, and then they're like, oh, they're like, oh, they're like, oh, so oh he seems a little disappointed when you open the door, that's why. <laughs> they're like, oh, sorry. Now, there are things, though, that you can do, and some of the, one of the ideas that I was thinking about, have you heard of SPIFs before? Mm -hmm. So a SPIF, I don't even know what the acronym stands for. So when I used to sell, I used to sell golf clubs at a retail golf shop down in South Florida when I was in high school. And every, every, uh, type of product that we had to sell that carried a spiff. So I made $6 an hour, this is back in the mid 90s, made $6 an hour and each different brand of golf clubs that we sold carried a $10 spiff or a $20 spiff or a $30 spiff, whatever it is. It's just a flat amount that you get if you complete a sale. It's not a percentage of revenue. It's not anything like, it's, it's very, very, very easy to roll out and very easy to calculate because simplicity is really important, especially when you're trying to roll something out like this. You could say, well, this month we're gonna run, a, you can call it whatever you want, but SPIF is a term that a lot of companies use. We're gonna run a $25 SPIF on every scooter you sell this month. Or if you wanna tie it to the profitability of the scooters, you could say a $10 SPIF on these scooters, a $20 SPIF on these scooters, and a $30 SPIF on these scooters. And then as they're doing that, they say, all right, I sold five scooters this week. That means I'm gonna make a hundred bucks more over and above what my hourly rate was. It's very easy to calculate and it's very easy for you to assign these spiff values. You can either, again, you can do it the same for everything or you could just, or you could designate it based on the value to the company on each of those sales. You've got, so if the idea is to get 35 scooters, this is, and this is just for one person. So, if you, so one option is to say, we could do 35 to make it super simple. You could say 35 times, let's say, let's say 10 bucks per scooter, which would equal 350, right? Now, pros of that, super simple. And they know that the day that they sell the first scooter, that they're already got, they got something over and above what they normally would have gotten. The, the con of that is you're now paying for something that you know probably would have happened anyway. Um, but it's, it's super simple. Another option could be you could have, uh, say, scooters 1 through 10 equals 0. Scooters 11 through 20 equals, uh, say, 5 bucks. You got scooters, what, 21 through 30? Should I say uh, 10 bucks and then scooters 31 and up? Let's just go nuts and say like 25 bucks. So then now there's a path that they can go on. They know that, all right, well, I got to get through the first 10 before I start making anything. Then a small commission is introduced for 11 through 20. And, and this number would change each month, obviously, based on what your baseline is. And then, but I know that if I get to 31, or I should have said actually probably 30, I should make this 35. And make this 36 and up. So you know that this is, this is a territory where we get into more than we did last year, right? So then, you know, at that point, if they're killing, this this would keep them from sandbagging, right? So this would keep them from holding back, knowing that I need to front, I need to load up for next month. Uh, but you're also paying out $25 a scooter. So the question is, 
if you knew that somebody was that good to where they were willing to, or they were able to get to this many scooters, would you be willing to pay $25 per scooter for somebody who's crushing it at the end of the month for them to just get five more in or four more in? Pro probably, right? The other, the other example we had was, so for here it could be zero to 35 equals zero dollars. And then 35, or should I say 36 and up equals $25 or whatever you want. That way you know that this is, this is where we need to get to. Um, the good thing is, you don't pay anything out, zero to 35, nothing. When you get to 30, if somebody gets to 36, then you do start paying them accordingly. Um, this is where the sandbagging can come in though. If somebody's halfway through the month, they're like, I'm at six scooters, I'm not getting there anyway. I'm just gonna ride out, fly under radar for the remainder of the month and then start fresh next month. Then you're not, uh, then you obviously don't want that to happen. So these are three different models of how you can, you know, just, I mean, we could create 10 more, you know, with different, different types of these. Um, now, is this the way you would want to structure it in terms of, because this is by individual mm -hmm. thought process. I mean, do you, I mean, why, like, why not just say zero to 70 is zero dollars and then 71 and up is 20 you know what i mean so it's if for would it, as a team bonus yeah like as a, you could do that that's 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 another model so th this is this is a one person team right and you have two people that are doing 35 scooters each or that's the goal at least right you could say all right this is this is uh you know ch change these numbers to where it's uh now 75 scooters at ten dollars each or um you know, here I would do one through 20, 20 through 40, you know, just double everything that you see here, not the dollar amounts, just double the, double the, uh, the volumes or the quantities, and then say, you guys split it down the middle. That could work too. That's where though, somebody working 12 hours a week versus 24 hours a week, but that, that would become be, an issue. That would actually be easy for me. For one, I don't have to audit who got what sale. Correct. And I can literally just pull all sales hours and how many hours you worked out of the pool and say that's how much of the commission you get. It's like a profit well, share. It's not as effective anymore. It's not as motivating. It's well, again, everything seems to have a pro and a con. Right. So individually, this is great because I know, now I know when I was an entry level salesperson at Infinite Energy at the golf store, I know that I wanted to, these older guys that I was selling golf clubs against the old retired golf pros. I was a 16 year old kid. I wanted to crush them. I didn't want to share anything with them because I knew they were lazy. They didn't do anything. You don't have 60 year old lazy ex golf pros on your uh, on your showroom floor. Um, but I know personally, the way I was built at the time was I wanted to make as much as humanly possible. So I wanted my own compensation plan. Now it was the same compensation plan for everybody, but if you performed individually, then you got paid more than the other guys did. Um, if you have, I mean, you could institute a group wide, hey, if we hit 75 scooters, we're gonna share, you guys are gonna share 200 bucks. If we hit 85 scooters, you're gonna share a thousand bucks or whatever, the, you know, figure out what the numbers would be that make sense. That, that helps from an administrative standpoint, that helps from a teamwork standpoint, saying, Colin, I'm working with this guy, can, can you know, I'll, I'll help, I'll help this guy that just came in. Can you write this guy up? And who cares who gets credit for? We're all going to take the same. Which helps from a cultural standpoint. Which helps from a cultural it. standpoint. Um, vice versa, if I'm over here playing on my phone right. while Colin was crushing it on the sales floor, he might look over and go, dude, we got a million, we got 10 people in here right now yeah. trying to buy scooters. And you're playing and on your you're phone. At $200. And I'm splitting this with you. Yeah. You know, so. so I'll work on a spreadsheet for that. That'd be awesome. I will, uh, I think that'll be a good take away just to work on that and then I'll share it with you in the folder and then you can start tinkering with it. Yeah. See what, um, cause you definitely want to run the scenarios. Once you run, it'll start to put into focus on what makes sense financially. Yeah. Not only for them, but for, for, uh, for the company. I'm so focused on some of this stuff. Thanks, Thanks my friend. I really appreciate it. Thank you. See you, bye. Take care. Yeah. See you guys.
listening.